Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we've got a video covering showdowns and how you can beat showdowns a lot quicker to get through the team affinity, all right? I got the Jackie Robinson card last night. I want to help you guys get it, so I'm going to show you a little bit uh, of how to draft your squad, how to approach showdown, and how to make it a little bit easier for yourself. So y'all do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button, like, like, subscribe to the channel, channel subscribe, 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 why am I flipping? flipping? All right, all right, all right, there we go. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get right to it, man. We've got Showdown. That's where you can earn the most points for Team Affinity and repeatedly, all right? You can earn 15 points repeatedly. Let's show you guys that right quick in the programs. If you go to Team Affinity, if, as you can see, I've got them all to 100% here. I just did it last night, uh, so it took me a little bit of time to do it. But uh, if you go in here to your exchanges, every time you complete a Showdown, you're going to get five vouchers and five vouchers is going to give you 15 points now you can now you can also load them in one at a time uh which is helpful because when i got to the end because of innings played and things like that with some of the players uh from different uh divisions i had earned other points along the way and just like accidentally completing some of the uh the missions that are also in the team affinity so i got some more points but uh let's go ahead and now i'm going to show you guys exactly how to draft a squad okay for uh for showdown and this is how i do it this is how i find is the best method uh to draft a squad and and the easiest way to really beat it in in my opinion all right so we're going to go into season one i'm going to spend the 500 stubs i don't even need to do it right now but it's just 500 stubs it's not that big a deal you earn them back by the way you have to pay these 500 stubs to go in but you earn them back every single time uh that you complete this and go throughout it all right so uh in in the first round of the draft what you want to do you're going to get 42 series cards in the first uh, two rounds, I believe it is. Maybe it's, it might be also be the third. I'm not sure if it's the third. All right, we'll, we'll see here in just a second. It's going to be at least the first two rounds, and they're going to be hitters for you, all right? So by now, at this point, you've probably played with a few of these cards. Uh, you might have uh, used them in BR, or uh, maybe you've picked up a few of them on your squad as well, and you've used them. So you kind of know maybe some cards that are good for you. Uh, in this instance, I would pick a card that's good for me, but I typically like to go also with all power for showdown, all right? I don't give a shit about uh vision or contact or any of that man i want power that's all i want it's that's how you're going to get it done all right so most of these you know the hardest part in, in these missions that you do is going to be a home run or an extra base hit or something like that you're going to need to win so go with power you're playing on pretty low difficulties that's where you're going to want to stay all right so for me in this instance now i know that kyle lewis uh has the most power uh, well, Keston Hira does uh, against righties right there, but Kyle Lewis is going to be the best one. I play good with Nico Goodrum, and I like the switch hitting bat, though. And uh, this was a card that I just knew, man, I was going to be fine. Every time he came to the plate, this is a card I wanted at the top of the order. So in my instance, I would take this card, all right? If you haven't played with some of these and you don't have the experience, maybe a Kyle Lewis because he's got most of the pop there from both sides of the plate. All right, but this one I know had a lot of pop for me, so that's what I would pick. All right, when I go to the second round, you're going to get hitters here again, uh, and you're going to get, uh, you know, you're going to get, it's going to be different every time. Uh, but in this one, that you're down Alvarez card, something about this card is kind of glitchy this year, but he's got the most pop out of all these cards anyway. Uh, so I'm going to go with you're down Alvarez, and most likely you're going to be facing a, a right-handed pitcher at the end. I believe there's only one, maybe two lefties at the very end. Jesus Lazardo is one that you can face, and then... Um, uh, Corbin, I believe, is the other one. So I believe there's only the two lefties. You're probably going to get a righty to face at the very end. So um, there might be, you might be able to have Kershaw at the end, but I think you have to face one of these actual 42 series players for the final challenge. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, but so I would take Jordan Alvarez here. He's obviously got the most power. He happens to have good contact too. So, hey, look, it's just a plus at this point. All right. So for pitchers, you're going to get the, yeah, the third round is going to be one of the 42 series starting pitchers. All right. So just pick somebody that maybe has a quick windup so you can speed up the process for yourself or something like that. But um, I didn't like using Barrios in it. Uh, he wasn't really great for me. Uh, Corbin's been a card I've used a lot, so I just go with Corbin. Um, and then this round, you're going to get gold cards, and these cards are going to be from the Team Affinity series. So you're going to get cards that come along that, uh, that Team Affinity pack. Uh, the choice pack along the way where you get these. So you've got, uh, you know, like this, this instance is going to be, give me Peralta, Biggio. I'm not taking Biggio. It doesn't have enough power for me. Rollins doesn't have enough power for me. Never, ever take the freaking pitcher that they give you in this round. Not necessary. Don't do it. All right. You just don't need it. You need a starter and a reliever for this. And you don't even necessarily need those maybe. So 
Uh, but you need to take them because they require you and give you all those in a round. So Peralta's the guy to take right here for me. Uh, he's going to have the most pop. So I'm taking that one. We're building this power squad. All right, now we've got Conforto, Castellanos, Olsen, or Correa. Now, Olsen has the highest power number at 99, but Castellanos has the most all-around power uh, from coverage on both sides, and that's what I like. Pro plus, he's, he's also trending up today. Uh, so against lefties, he's going to absolutely mash for you right now, man, at 86, uh, 96 power. So 96 power is going to be pretty uh, pretty crazy. Uh, that's the card to take. Castellanos has a ridiculously glitchy swing to me in this game, so uh, I'm taking that card. Like I said, if you guys know you have a card that works good for you, take that card. I mean, that's that's the card you want to take. If, even if it's not necessarily a power card, uh, like I've said, take the power cards. If you know who you hit like incredibly well with it, I mean, take the clutch card for you. It's going to get it done. So, yeah, obviously. All right, so here's going to be the relief pitcher round. Man, just take somebody that has, like, a, a decent mix of pitches that you like to throw. Um, fastball slider change up maybe or something. So, uh, sinkers are good to have, too. Here, look, uh, Chris Martin's got five pitches. Like, that's a that's a perfect one to hit, take for you. So, all right, and then you're going to get a silver round right here of hitters. Um, you know, just kind of filling the squad with those power guys. Like I said, Framel Reyes is a known glitchy card against the CPU. Uh, so go ahead and take this. He's also known for BR as well, but, uh, look at the pop on that. You, of course you're taking that card. Why not? Right. He even hits righties good as a righty. So, uh, this next round is going to be bronze cards. You're going to get Cameron Maven, uh, Elvis Anders, who, who we got here. Let, let's take Mount Castle in. It's not a great card. We're going to replace it after a couple rounds. So don't worry about that round so much. Maybe you'll get lucky and get a couple of power guys. There are a few of these bronze guys that are just known glitchy cards and, uh, if you guys like those, take those. So I've got uh, I've got a couple of switch hitters in this, man. And I think I'm actually going to pull this uh, Candelario. Uh, even though he's trending down, I I hit well with him. So, All right, so on this, when you get your perks, you're going to get three rounds of perks at the end of your draft. I recommend taking all exit velocity boost perks. Don't take a single pitching perk. Why would you do that? Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, just do not do that. Take a all exit velocity ones if you can. If there's not one available, obviously take what you got to take. But there's typically one available. Every once in a while, you'll find one not. So I like to go with these uh, exit, exit velocity boost while ahead in the count. Sometimes you'll find one where you get an exit velocity boost on normal swings. Uh, that's a great one, uh, especially you can find the diamond one of that. Uh, sometimes you'll get one when you're losing uh, or the seventh inning or later. Uh, so you just, you're going to want to build those and you can stack them on top of each other. Like the same one, like a gold and diamond of the same one could be stacked to make your squad just insane. So all that power you just build into your squad, stack it. I mean, that, if that's what you built your squad to do, power them up. I mean, give them superpowers with these perks. That's pretty much what you're doing. So, uh, you're boosting them for the day and, uh, for your run at this. So I would take right here, the green light one, obviously it's the only exit velocity boost. There's a contact boost one. That's what I would take if there's not an exit velocity boost, but uh, I would take that. All right, we got exit velocity boost while behind in the count, while losing and with two outs, or on the 2-0 and 3-1 count. Well, let's stack another another green light one here. It doesn't matter. Like these, I'm going to replace these as I play it anyway, so it's really not that big a deal. Uh, so these aren't that, that big a deal. But all right, exit velocity boost while losing and with two outs. It's the only one I've got right there. So you're going to get three of those. They're not on your squad yet. Do not forget. That's why this exclamation mark showing right here. You're going to want to go ahead and put this on right there. There we go. All right. So we've got them all equipped. All three of those are equipped on the squad. Go ahead and manage your squad before you go into a, a game and make sure that you're okay. Uh, make sure that they didn't like throw a card that you want on your bench. Um, you know, like this. Look, they, they, they see they put the neighbor Peralta card right here because I don't have him in the outfield. All right. So, so here's what we're doing. Uh, let's see, he doesn't play center, does he? Neither one of them plays center. Does, uh, can Peralta play center? All right, so nobody plays center field in that instance. That's kind of crazy. So I can't use him in that way. So here's what we would do. We would use him in the pitcher spot. Or if you only have a hitting moment and you don't have a pitch, you don't have a moment where you have to play in the field coming up, it doesn't matter if they're out of position. Leave them out of position. Who cares? They're not having to field a ball. So it doesn't matter. Uh, if you're also doing the moment, there'll be one of two pitching moments that I've seen um, throughout my process of doing it uh, in the showdown is one where you have to strike out. I think it's Joey Gallo with the bases loaded and two outs. And if you get him, he just bashes the crap out of the bat on the ground. It's hilarious. Uh, and then there's another one uh, where you have to uh, get out the side without allowing a hit. Now, 
that one, you know, you're going to have to have somebody at all the positions, but you know, you're not needing the bat. So just throw the fielder out there. But if you're just going to hit, you know, use your, uh, there's a couple where you need like two hits. You can go get that in an inning. Don't worry about the field real much, real, you know, too terribly on that. So just make sure your squad's at the best you can make it. I know Framel Reyes is another guy we would want out here. So I might like sticking at first base or something like this just for hitting moments. But a lot of times you're going to get the same moment repetitively. Um, you know, I've had uh, this two hits, including one extra base hit uh, or one extra base hit multiple times in a row. So you'll, you'll get this. But what you want to do is you want to play through the first moment. You'll play through the second moment. You'll play through the third moment. They're not that difficult. They're on like veteran and rookie. So they're, they're really easy. All right, by the time you get done with these three, you'll have six points. You're at 12 to six. Now, you can play this, this uh, final showdown or the halfway showdown and risk losing it all. Or you can just try to go score seven runs and 15 outs. Like, it depends on how stacked your squad is. If you want to save time and you're all about saving time, then and you're trying to get it done quick, then just skip to the end and try to go for it, man. Seven runs, 15 outs. It's not that bad. You probably have a pretty good God squad. If you feel like playing it, though, and I did a lot of times, I went ahead and played it on just for a couple extra runs, just so I didn't feel like I was wasting my time, you know? Uh, you, you do, this one's really easy. Uh, it is score three runs and you have 10 outs and you have a runner on second base to start. So it's not a difficult one to get past. It's always the same mission. Uh, it's a diff against different pitchers, but it's always the same mission. Uh, and it always starts with the runner on second base. So it's not that difficult. You do get a 42 series hitter when you finish this one and a diamond perk. Uh, when you do this one, you get uh, gold series hitters and then uh, a once gold series hitter and then a diamond perk as well. And then you get the 42 series ones with these final two missions that you have. So if you can get those done, there's a chance that when you get to the end of it, you're at 12 to 12. You literally just have to go in here and hit a home run in 15 outs or score a run somehow and you're, and you're done. And it's really easy, man. And uh, I, I really think the power squad is the way to go. I think drafting the power perks is the way to go. The exit velocity perks, that's going to be your power perks. Uh, so that's what you want to stack with that. But by the time, man, you get it all done and you get that whole thing finished, you get to come in here and celebrate getting this because I'm really excited about this card, man. I've had Jackie Robinson on the squad the entire year. We're going to we're gonna play with him here a little bit this week and uh, we're going to see how he does. He's going to be on the squad probably the whole year. I use him on the bench at least, but this is the best version of the Jackie Robinson card they've ever given with a lot of power. So hopefully it's just absolutely OP, man. I'm, and I'm, I think it's going to be. so. Uh, but uh, you guys do me a favor as always and make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Peace.